Hello everyone. In today's video, we are breaking down the major outcomes of COP30. First, they adopted a call to mobilize 1.3 trillion dollars every year by 2035. They also committed to doubling the adaptation finance by 2025 and tripling it by 2035. In case if you do not know what is adaptation finance, adaptation finance refers to funds provided to help countries, especially developing nations, adjust to the impacts of climate change. COP30 also confirmed the operationalization and replenishment cycles of the loss and damage fund. In case if you do not know what is loss and damage fund, the loss and damage fund is a global climate finance mechanism created under the UNFCCC to provide financial support to developing countries that are suffering from irreversible climate impacts such as floods, cyclones and sea level rise etc. Two major global initiatives were launched. One the global implementation accelerator which will help countries actually implement their ndcs and national adaptation plans by providing cooperation technical support and practical execution pathways two the belem mission to 1.5 degree celsius it is a coordinated global effort to keep the 1.5 degree goal alive by accelerating mitigation and adaptation through investment technology and scientific collaboration for the first time COP30 also recognized the problem of climate disinformation with countries committing to strengthen information integrity and counter misleading climate narratives and finally parties adopted a new gender and climate action plan to enhance women's participation and leadership in climate governance subscribe to insights is for more such content